No, we're just chilling. We're hanging out. Everybody get up and stretch, though. I've been here for two hours. Everyone stretch. Ugh. Okay, and then I'm going to start. Let's see. So let's go ahead and repair this here. Everyone can just fortify, I guess. All these guys have such good promotions right now. This is very nice. Such good, so many good promotions. I don't, I don't know how to English very well. What? That's infuriating. <laughs> I was not expecting that. He's gonna die, isn't he? <laughs> That's so fr- alright. Let's bring some guys down. Let's bring some of these archers down. That's really infuriating, honestly. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? I mean, pretty high, but that's so funny. Alright, let's just bring some of these guys down, I guess. Uh... He's gonna die. Like I can't save him. Damn it! That's so. Oh. A physician with if bread is the. Thing. I can actually. Let's do this. I can actually take him. Okay, in here. Is there a good campus site here? No. We can grab an entertain. We can. Do we do need a theater square? Let's go. Yeah. Let's think about this. I think on this city here, so for, for a little bit, let's do some city planning. Well, that means it, that means that Brazil is nearby. And here, I think we go aqueduct. And then a dam if we can. Can we dam that there? No, we can dam here. So we swap these over. This is the dam. And this is the aqueduct. And then we put industrial zone here on top of the incense, I guess. Like, directly on top of the incense. And then for now... 2 out of 7 housing. We could get the government plaza. Um, maybe a theater square. Maybe we just get a theater square on one of these. Plaza. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's not a floodplain. Thank you for reminding me. There's no really... I mean, I could get a holy site, but there's no... I guess for the culture later on. I'm not utilizing the faith or the, the religion this game. There's because there's I don't think there's any religions available. Yeah, there isn't. So there's no point. I mean I can get the holy site for the rock bands later. Maybe we just purchase that's uh, two turns. We'll just work let's just work like a builder for now. And then we'll build uh something else later. Prepare that. Keep sending some guys down. Spearman can go there, and then we're just gonna capture that uh, that iron swordsman. Posture, posture check, everybody. Oof. Oh. Let's fortify. God damn it. You stop posture checking you in bed. Well, why are you laying in bed, Vince? Actually, I'm not gonna shame you about laying in bed. You can do whatever you want. <sighs> can't like I knew that was gonna like I can't believe that happened. I mean, he can come down, right? It's fine. I'm just gonna keep baiting him. You're working. Okay. I, I believe you. Let's repair all of these. Man, I need so many things. I'm so far behind. I mean, I took out I took out the Congo, but I need Celestial Navigation. I need Iron Working. And we need Aqueducts, so. Come on, come on, Iron Swordsman. Where are you at? Those who inquire. All right, we'll do this. No, you stay there. You go like this. 
All right, and then this trader here. I mean, I guess we keep sending it to Muscat, right? I think we send it to from this city, though. Okay, so where do we go from here? I guess we get recorded history, defensive, and then into feudalism, into civil service. Mercenaries would be nice to get the winged huskars, winged hussars, but huskars, this isn't Dota. <gasps> um, okay. I'm going to get a harbor in here. So what I'm going to do is work a builder. And then once the builder finishes, we'll go to harbor. And then let's look at my policies. I'm not doing... I don't need this anymore because there's no reason to get the... I don't need the loyalty because it's my own continent. So I think we get veterancy so I can get for the harbor buildings. Conscription is nice. I have a massive army, so I think I'm keeping that in there. We go... Ilkum for the builders, because I'm building two I'm building builders in two cities, so I think we do that. I think that sounds right. Uh, let's become the suzerain of Muscat. That's some extra gold for us, right? Plus four gold in the capital, so that should go to 20.8 gold per turn next turn. Am I right? I could be wrong. I could be absolutely, like, completely wrong. All right, next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please go right here. That's a hill, so he should go right here. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks for your thanks for your iron sword, swordsman. Hey, and another galley which boosted, um, uh, shipbuilding, which is very very good for us. We needed we need some of these boosts. Okay, how are we doing on housing? Seven of eight. So let's grab a barracks, and then we're gonna grab a government plaza. Um. I guess we grab it here, right? So, are any of these... These are all floodplains. I think we dam... I think we can only dam this one or this tile here. So, but we have to put the aqueduct here. I could always chop the resources here, but I like having the two gold... Like the, I like having it here. I could chop the plantation and make it into a farm. But I think we just dam right here. But the problem, oh no, we. The problem is, is that we can't use utilize the the industrial zone. So, hmm. let's see. We'll we'll worry about that once we can get into industrial zones. But we'll grab the barracks and then we'll build a government plaza. I mean, we could always dam right here. We could always dam right there. And then industrial zone on this one. In between those floodplains. Um, we'll figure it out. Look at that. I was right. It is an isthmus between two continents. Hello, Brazil. How, how, you, how you doing, Brazil? How are your units doing over there? Okay, that's going to Muscat, so we can get that road here. Oh, sorry, my voice decided to not work for a couple seconds. So I think once we get enough units, once we get up to... Um, do I have the Harvest Resource mod? Uh, I do not... Uh, what I meant was we can chop the chop the luxury, but... Oh, I guess you're right, actually. Huh. Yeah, you can't. See, this is the, these are the, the small things that I, just from my inexperience of not playing Civ 6 as long as, like, Civ 5, where I don't know those things. What I was going to say was, I think once we get to Medieval Era and get Metal Casting and get Niter units, then, uh, then I think we get... Uh, then I think we go to war with Brazil. I think that's... The next step is going to war with Brazil. So I think what we end up doing then is we end up damming this um, and then doing like an industrial zone here. I think that's what we do just so we can get the industrial Hi, zone doggy. Uh, resources. Thanks, William Bruce, for following. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. 
with since you're just joining us, uh, we already have taken out one sieve. The Congo. We already took out Congo, so that's nice. <laughs> and then what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Let's go down this way. I guess we can go down this way with some of these units for now. Uh, you can just fortify there. Next turn. Yeah, there's so many. There are so many weird things like that. It just takes thousands and thousands of hours to, to with experience, right? All right, and then a harbor in here. Look at that, plus four gold. We'll grab a harbor in here as well. Um, what do we need actually in here? This is a pretty decent campus. I mean, a, a decent, like halfway decent. And I do need more campuses. So harbor would be nice to have. I think we get the harbor first, just so we can get the lighthouse. Don't mind me, Brazil. I'm just kind of, I'm just, I'm just, uh, hanging out. Don't worry about me. And two more builds on this. What do we need? Uh, I guess we need to get some of these sea resources, right? So let's grab this one, and then we're going to come back and grab that one there. say so after recorded history I would like to get feudalism just so I can get the plus one food from the farms um, the campus adjacency bonus would be nice the thing is I think I want to get feudalism fast just so I can get the plus two builds but it's kind of hard to, to boost it because we're so far behind right now I mean we're not terribly far behind like we're on the we're in the classical era, so we're not super far behind. Like they're just hitting the medieval era, right? So it's not like terrible, but I mean we 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 sacrificed that while we were going to war. So is this is he gonna serious? I think he's gonna settle like right here. I think he's gonna try and do that. Oh, that's so frustrating. That means we have to get a navy, because there's no way we're gonna take this with land units. Unless I just declare war on him and snipe his settler and then settle the city myself. I could do that. It's This is a pretty defensible city, so... That's why. Uh, Spicy Mike, it's because the on deity... On uh, levels higher than deity... Or, sorry, higher than emperor, the AI basically cheats. They get extra everything that you can think of. So that's how they go through errors so fast. And also, I'm... I mean, my culture is caught up. It's pretty much on par right now, but I was really far behind because I was just focusing on, on war the entire time. That, uh, that there was just... It was really hard to catch up. Or, so it just it just took me a little while to catch up. Let's grab a government plaza. We need one. Um, I guess we'll grab a harbor in here. We do need a water mill. Let's grab the gypsum. Uh, yeah, and as Peppermint said, they get a 40% they get a boost to like, everything. They get so much free tech boosts free like settlers free units like almost everything like that so i'm oops sorry i once he once he gets this settler down like this area i'm gonna declare war and just steal it um just because i i can't afford him settling a city right here so i mean i, I can i'm being a little dramatic but Hopefully it doesn't settle one right there. There's a pot. Oh. God damn it. History. Let's do something like this. There's a possibility that he does. Um, we'll grab res researcher as well. We need that extra science. The sea seems to. Yeah, it's Mount Vesuvius and Armog. Okay. Only two city states found. So oh, no, there's three. There's one up there as well. Grab the gypsum. Let's see if we can sell that to someone. Let's talk to Norway. Does he want my gypsum? He does. Okay. So he'll give me, what do you say, six gold per turn? How about this nerd? Nine gold per turn. Okay. Let's do that. Thank you. Thank you for your for your gold friend. Let's grab the turtles. 
and keep exploring. Okay, so we can go this way, I think. Yeah, a lot of the stats, you're very right. There are some things that are a little unclear. Um, I forgot I was building the Great Bath. We're just we're just passing by, friend. Like, don't don't worry about it. Maybe that'll block him. Hopefully, he maybe he just disembarks with that settler, and we can declare war and steal it. I don't necessarily want to declare war, but uh, we can't get a damn there. Like, I would like the incense. Maybe what I do is I just get a uh, aqua aqueduct here. A, what I should do actually right now is buy these tiles where the city state grows. And now you don't ignore amenities. Yeah, amenities are important. Um, I think I just get the incense there. I go um, like we'll do like industrial zone here and then maybe like a campus there. I guess. Because I'll still get plus one from the from the rainforest. I think that's the I think that's really the only way I can utilize those. And plus if I chop this forest here and build a mine there, that'll give plus one to the industrial site as well. Okay, let's go take that. Let's go kill the, the rest of them over here. Alright, actually we're getting we're getting pretty close to getting oh. One one era score away from a golden age. Are you kidding me? Oh, Nice, and we found Cleopatra. Thank you, Cleopatra Waifu, to save the day to get that golden age. Dude, look at that. Hello, Cleopatra Waifu. Where is she? Oh, she's way up here. Okay. Let's send a delegation. Let's try and be friendly with her as soon as possible. We can sell her some iron. So let's give her, like, 40 iron. And then maybe, like... Five gold per turn. Sixty-nine gold, nice, nice. All right, let's see where he settles. Let's see where he goes with that settler. Golden Age, Cleopatra waifu coming in clutch with the Golden Age. Thank you so much for giving me that era score. So I'm fortifying here because he obviously wants to settle like on one of these tiles around here. Probably. Probably one of these is where he wants to settle because he obviously has a city here. So it's it's one of these cities. Uh-uh-uh, I'm not going to let him. How, can I purchase a settler? I can. Maybe what I do is I purchase a settler and I that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Let's go. We're doing it. And then for this golden age, I I'm still going to get free inquiry, I think. Fuck. Damn it. Sorry for cursing. You know what I should have done? I should have gotten... I should have gotten Monumentality. Then I could have purchased the, the Settler with Faith. <laughs> oh well, it's too late now. Uh, I'm just gonna go... I'm gonna go Free Inquiry. Like, I should have just gone Monumentality. That was really... I made a large oopsie, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let's grab the Harbor in here. Uh, we can grab plus three gold here. We'll delete that. And then with this guy, we'll grab the face. And we can send him home. Yeah, free inquiry is is better for catching up, but like that could have been I could have saved. I like monumentality for the um just for the, the boosts, so. Okay, so he obviously wants to settle one of these tiles because he has not moved his settler at all. So we want this for myself. And then I'm just gonna do production because that will probably pass. It's usually production or gold that passes. Hey, we got the culture bombs. That's really good for us because of our passive of the Golden Liberty culture bomb adjacent tiles and completing an encampment or a fort inside. Like, that's that's pretty nice. As well as uh, the... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because we don't have a religion, but it's still nice. And then we're going to settle right here. Look at that. And it acts as a canal as well. That's, that's such a good city. Ugh. 
All right, he's going to fortify here. And with this builder, I have one more build, so we can go grab the gypsum over there. Just make sure there's no other... Okay, there aren't. So we can send him home. This builder can grab the fish. And then I'll send him up this way. It's down here. Hopefully, we can get this settler here before. Oh, sh... I actually probably should have saved my um, diplomatic favor. Oh, we're gonna get, we're about to get declared war on by everybody right now. I think everyone's gonna because no one, two people will denounce me and two, three other people don't like me. Yep. Defense is soup. Well. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, uh, actually, it's only Brazil and uh, in Scotland, so I have no idea where Scotland is. So that's actually fine. Let's do this. Thank you for your settler. That actually worked out. <laughs> you know that worked out, and it also didn't cause us any grievances too, which is the nice part. All right, let's up let's upgrade these swordsmen. Should have done that a long time ago. Don't have enough gold. That's okay. So in Krakow, so let's get, I think we get Ancestral Hall, right? Warlord's Throne is, actually we're going to do that. We're going to go Warlord's Throne because we're going Domination Victory this game. And then I'm getting Liang. Uh, I'm going to put Liang inside Roclaw because of all the, actually, wait, how many luxury resources? Which ones are the better ones? Nice settler kick W. Yeah, exactly. Which one has the most luxury resources? I guess they all have pretty similar ones. Let's put, I guess we put Liang in here. I could have gone Magnus, but. Yeah. 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 And the reason why I'm getting Liang is so I can get the fisheries. The fisheries are so nice. They're so good. Okay, so this guy, this one, I can actually go like south. Let's get a city that way. Then you can settle a city right there. I think some city states are at war with me, though. Valletta, Vilnius, and Brussels. Okay, they're all very far away, so that's okay. Would you like my diplomatic favor? I don't necessarily want to sell it, but. I mean. Maybe just gold. Five gold per turn. Yeah, sure. Why not? Like, it's it's fine. Oh, did I just lose? I just lost Mus- oh, Someone took Muscat from me? And he took my build- Oh my god. Alright, well, I guess I'm taking Muscat. Like, that city's mine now. Like... <laughs> Let's go. That's kind of unfortunate. But... <laughs> Uh, was not expecting that. It does have walls too. That's actually really annoying. That's really annoying, honestly. I need to send him with a... Uh... Okay, so we need to move this guy to Arma uh, to... Roclaw, because Roclaw is getting a harbor, I guess. Yeah. Just so it doesn't get pillaged. Oh, that's a Scotland galley. Oh my god, that's even more annoying. I guess we can send him this way. Well, that galley's dead. Watch the city state take my city. Actually, it would be really it's funny if that happens. <laughs> This is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay. You know, attack that swordsman. Kill him. Let's just bring my units down. So we built Great Bath in here. I forgot that I was building Great Bath in here, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Norway does have some longboats coming in. 
Hopefully Norway... To, I mean, Norway might be at war with someone else. I think that they are. They voted no, so... Uh, we can grab a campus, I guess. I don't want to get rid of that 2-2, so we'll just get it right here for now. And then we'll settle that city here. Okay, bring down these units. Send him home, send him home. I think I'm just going to take this city. Like, it was nice having a city-state, but... Ooh, I gotta be careful here with these quad... These quadrimes can actually... I th they can actually take my city. Can I purchase an archer? I can't. Okay, good. Well, he's gonna die, so might as well just attack him. We'll send that to... Uh... That's not safe. I think what we're going to do is just send it to one of my cities just to pump the production. Probably just to this city here. Maybe to Bombonza Congo. Um, to Krakow actually would be good. Plus three food and plus three production. Let's do that. All right, let's see what happens here. I should probably bring some of my units back because all of those quadrimes are going to be doing some damages. Oh, that's a lot of swords. <laughs> that's a lot of swords. Normal people. But... <gasps> okay. Attack the galley. Settle that tile there. Let's grab ancient walls. Send units back. I gotta make sure I don't get hit by... He can, this city-state could actually take my city right now. <laughs> this is a little concerning. Uh, crossbowmen. We need crossbowmen. Okay. Grab the quarry. Am I at war with Kong Kong? I think I am. Let's grab walls. Uh, and aquaculture for the fishery. All right, let's see what happens. Let's go. Let's go back to back to there. If <laughs> the city state takes, no, I'd, I mean I could, but not enough. Oh my god, he's actually the city state is like probably gonna take it. That's actually really that's actually really sad. Uh, I guess I got stretched pretty pretty thin, huh? Guess we just take him out. Yeah, because he's at six and I'm only at one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Woo, that was close. That was really close. Okay. Yeah, he's bringing a crossbowman. We got 25 turns. Yeah, we'll stick. We'll attack. That. That was really close, honestly. Okay, grab the gypsum. Let's see if we can sell the gypsum. She does. Nice. How about this nerd? Yep. Will she sell me anything else? No. Should I ask her to help me with a war? She's not willing to trade that. About Pedro the Second of Formal War. What if I gave you, like, gold and... Yeah, she's not willing to trade it. It's fine. Let's go south. That was really close. Like, I honestly think... I'm at war with Hong Kong. I'm not. Okay. Like, we probably could have lost this city here to that city-state. That was really close. <laughs> Hey, it's more era score too. And we have feudalism, which is also really nice. So, we'll attack him. Is that a quadrireme? 
Yeah, I gotta be careful. I think I want to get serfdom because we're going to be building a few more builders soon, but I think I need the production right now. Um, I think I get bastions. As much as I want to put veterans in the air, I need the, the bastions, I think. I think that just makes more sense. Okay, what to do with this settler? We could settle a city down here. There's probably a chance of uh, like resources like oil and things along those lines. Probably settle here, but let's let's look. Sheep. We have the turtles. I'm still gonna get those anyways. Maybe here. Or here. think we'll send him down for now he can fortify here on the off chance that there's a barb camp that spawns okay we're gonna keep our units here attack him because now that we don't really necessarily have to worry about the city state we can send some of these units back i guess i say that now and watch it watch it gets flipped on like the next turn <laughs> uh, fortify thing is I need gold. I need gold to upgrade these archers to crossbowmen and that's 250 gold each. I think it's 250. Hi Tompkin, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So we're going to have to sell some flat gold I think here. Um, we can sell 10 iron. No, she doesn't want my gypsum anymore either because I just sold that. Maybe I should have sold those for flat iron instead. We're at 45 gold per turn, so. Ooh. Ooh. That was really close. <laughs> okay, what do we build in here? Um, a lighthouse? Absolutely, yes. <clears throat> so. Let's go here. I mean, basically, we just have to defend, right? Okay, goodbye, Quadrarim. As long as we defend, we should be okay. God, he's going to die. <laughs> that Spearman's going to die. I don't think I can save him. Let's just try and kill him, at least. Oh, God, here comes Scotland. Scotland's nearby. Okay. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Do I have walls in here? I don't. Swap out, swap out the harbor for walls. We, we should be okay. I think we do it right here. I didn't see Scotland bringing his units. He has a couple. Error score with that harbor. Okay, let's fortify. I think we do it right on this tile here. And then we'll work that tile. And then let's grab a monument into ancient walls. Okay, he can heal for now. Only thing that... Mm, you have no idea about Civ? Is that good? I'm doing well. Um, we're good. We're about an hour into this game. 98 turns. So, you know, we're about a eighth of the way through a game, maybe. Probably. Okay, let's grab walls. We need walls in here. We're at war with everybody. We already took over one Civ, so. Um, let's bring these guys up. Let's see. Can we swap these two and then attack him? Yeah. Let's grab that. We do need to upgrade. We need... Uh, Six gold. It is it is two hundred and fifty gold, right? It's like two two hundred and fifty to two hundred and thirty. It's right around there for it to upgrade them on deity. I don't remember exactly, but it's pretty close. Oh, I shouldn't have left him there. Oh. My army is weak. What are you talking? My your army's weaker than mine, Cleo. 
What a nerd. Okay, let's go attack him. We'll grab the fishery improvement right there. So inside here, we do need an aqueduct there, but I think we need to focus a little bit on military. Um, maybe we'll do that on the next turn. Let's work on the aqueduct for one turn, I think. Because we do need the housing. And then let us go ahead and promote zoning uh, Liang. All right, bring in more units down or up, I should say. We are getting spread a little thin. We're basically fighting three, <laughs> three sieves on one front, but I we, sh we, mm, we should be okay. I need to send that uh, that guy from here to Krakow. I need to send it to Radom so I can get a, a road going. All right, let's put them here. Oof, bring it, they're bringing in units. As long as I have walls. Yeah, 250 gold, okay. So. Let's do this. Put him in the encampment. Go attack him. Grab that fishery improvement. Oh yeah, because they have to. They're trying to go after Mabanza Congo, right? No, Mabanza. Mab oh, they want to take this city back. Okay, that's the actual emergency. So what do we do now? At this point, we need. We're, we're pretty far behind on some things. We need to get Niter so we can get musketmen because that was the plan. So we we also need to build some of these boosted things as well so there's no pasture that oh i can build a pasture here huh well let's use our can i build anything with faith no okay oh we'll fortify i guess with him let's think about this i'll upgrade him to a crossbowman what we'll do is we'll attack that guy there we'll attack him here We'll start bringing the rest of my units up. Yeah. Upgrade that to a swordsman. I really need the crossbowman, though. Crossbowsman. Oh my gosh, and there's a quadrium over here, too. Oh, I'm spread everywhere. <laughs> Alright, attack him. Let's go right here. Let's attack that city. We have walls in four turns. That's going to help out. Help us out immensely. All right, attack him here. We'll attack the Quadrium on the next turn. It's really unfortunate that we he took Muscat from us. I kind of wish they were our we were suzerained with them still. So civil service. I want to get that envoy. So we'll get theology next into naval tradition into mercenaries. Maybe I just go straight mercenaries actually after civil service. It's only six turns versus four turns. And then we can get uh, Winged Hussars as well. This is really difficult, honestly. <laughs> this is a this is a difficult game. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, they didn't move. That's good for us. We'll attack that. We finished walls in here, and that's very good for us. Ooh, look at that. Look at that harbor. I think I need to get a builder or two going. Okay, let's bring them up this way. These guys are fine. All of our units are fine so far. Okay. Campus is going. Aqueduct's going. Once we get that aqueduct, we'll start working on a, a couple more uh, crossbowmen. But a plank. Now we can get quadrireams as well, which is really nice. We can upgrade him to a quadriream. Oh, no, it's a galley. All right. So we're going to put him in there. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. What can we get in here? Four out of seven housing, so we're okay there. Um, we can grab a harbor. Campus would be nice. The aqueduct would be nice. Maybe I put the aqueduct here and then the. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Actually, we'll change that to industrial zone. We'll change that to a campus. We'll delete that pin. We'll put the aqueduct here. But right now, we're going to work on a quadrireme. Then inside here, we'll grab a lighthouse. These guys can just fortify for now. All right, fortify. Um, I guess we'll just attack for now. Try to kill him. No, that's fine. We got 17 turns to defend. We're doing okay, and he's bringing the he's bringing his units. It's all papers and forms. All right, and now we have civil yeah, service, which is good for us. There's oh, great general. Look at that. Where is he? Perfect. Two loyalty per turn. Nope, we're going inside that city. Look at that. That great general timing. That's perfect. Take him. Sorry, friend. Inside our capital, Krakow. Let's. I'm gonna grab walls really quickly, and then we can start working on. I mean, the pyramids would be kind of cool to get, but I think we need to just get some more units right now. Or maybe we can start going after like Brazil. I didn't. I didn't want to do that until we got military. Until we got uh, Niter, but that's. I think we'll be okay. She wants my iron. Eight iron. Uh, sure, I think we'll just keep doing that just so we can stay friendly with, er, friendly, quote-unquote, with Cleopatra. Money. Money. It does not. Okay. Fortify. We'll keep them there. Let's think about this. Let's... We can attack him. I'll upgrade this one to a crossbowman. That does boost metal casting, which is really good for us. Attack him. Let's grab the promotion with him. And then we can kill him now. He can stay here. We almost have a harbor in a couple turns. We're going to grab that lighthouse, which will help us with the with the growth. And we've, def we've defended ourselves pretty well so far, so I think we're doing okay. I say that, and then, like, another wave comes. <laughs> the fact that this is a fractal map, like, really, really helps. Uh, so that is, that is true. That it's a fractal map, so Montoper. I think it's Monto. I think it's fractal. Um, I could be wrong. I, d I did shuffle, so it's basic. I think it's just basically a fractal map at this point. Exercise zone of control. He can fortify here. <laughs> the Dota map. <laughs> fortify. Okay, so now that we have this piece for a few seconds, after this lighthouse, what do we get? Commercial hub, can't another campus. This is a pretty good campus site. Let's grab a campus. And then in one of these other cities, we do need to get a theater square. So we don't fall insanely far behind on, on science. All right. Goodbye, friend. Oh, I thought it didn't kill it at first. Quadrium, maybe I should get an archer down here. Oh, it almost killed it. Oh, it's just, it almost killed it, nice. These guys can just fortify. All these guys can fortify for now. He's just gonna sleep because there's no reason for him to be that. This is a really nice city. The fisheries are so, fisheries are so good. Like that's that's one of the main reasons why I love Liang is on coastal cities because fisheries are just like they're so they're so like three one, like look at that look at those growth tiles, three food one production one gold. No like of life. when are you not gonna build that? Okay, let's see how close Scotland is. Oh, he's right there. Would you look at that? Okay, we got walls in true terms. What what are we working in here? These tiles? I mean that's fine, I guess. Whenever I start building builders, I'm gonna swap out um the policies to get the plus two builds per builder. Hi doggy. So, oh hey, thanks, Montofer, for following. I hope you're liking the stream. I hope you're having a having a good day today. And welcome to us taking over the world. <laughs> Being a mercenary, though. Okay, now we have winged hussars. We don't have any horses, though. That's actually... I just realized that. 
So, is that... P oh! <laughs> Alright, let's get a builder after this. Wait, actually, what, what city can we build a builder in? That's fast enough. Let's get a builder. I guess we'll get a builder in here. So let's get a builder right after that. And then... In here, we can work on a trader. Let's see... Let me grab Theology for another Envoy, and then we can grab Naval Tradition. And what we'll do is we're going to go into... No, we never started a religion, Spicy Mike. Um, the, the There are five religions in this game, and they were all taken before we even started on it, so I wasn't really worried about it. So, profession... Oh, let's do that. Okay. Bastions is nice. But I think we take out Conscription for now. That's going to have 56 gold. We have a lot of 8 from units. So minus 8 from units. So we're just going to lose. So it's going to go down 8. Mm. We'll take out Bastion Conscription. How much How much gold per turn do we lose? Four, no, that's fine. But we need that for our archers. That, that helps out our archers a lot. Hey, let's take Muscat back. Nice. Just attack the galley, I guess. We got Muscat, which is good for us. And um, we lost Muscat again. <sighs> I should have saved that. I should have saved that envoy. I should have saved that envoy so it wouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, Spicy Mike. Deed, it's, it is very hard. Unless you're, like, beelining for a religion and you have a sieve. I mean, I am playing Poland, and you can get religions with Poland semi-easily. Okay, hold on. Let's get military engineering before we get mathematics. Uh, religions go insanely fast. Wonders go insanely fast. That's just what happens on Deity. I should have saved that Envoy so I could have secured it, but it's it's fine. So all of our crossbowmen, let's hope that we have some Niter around here. Okay. So this I'm going to bring this Quadrarine back just so it doesn't die. And after this Quadrarim, I'm going to get a Builder. I'm going to trade her before the Aqueduct. Now that we have Harbors. Maybe I should peace out with one of these sieves. We can no more have it. So we have a Quadrarim out now. Maybe I should peace out with, like, Scotland or Brazil. Maybe Brazil. What's his military? Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's say, let's make peace with Brazil. Nope, they don't want to do it. All right, then. I don't really care. <laughs> Keep attacking me. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. Anything above normal difficulty, Montover? Yeah, it takes a long time to go. Like, we were talking about this earlier. The only reason why I'm very comfortable playing on Deity is because I put, like, a couple thousand hours into Civ Five, And then I've watched a lot of... Let's grab a campus. Just a ton, a ton, a ton of uh, other, other Civ players play Civ, so it's just one of those things where I've played it so many times that it's like you just you get comfortable playing it and it's just knowing like what things to do, making different decisions. Alright, I'm gonna save that envoy. Wait, do I have two no. Um just knowing all the decisions to make, like where to place things, things along those lines. Okay, what where can I upgrade? Let's upgrade him. Plus the archer. Oh, Brazil's bringing some units. Maybe I push onto Brazil. I have to. I have to make peace with one of them before I can push onto him, though. Okay. So let's just kill him. Oh, are you kidding me? Bye bye. Bye bye. Th these things are gonna get plus four very quickly which means i get two turns this is this is doing i'm doing okay with i'm not mad at this this is a pretty decent game okay so in our cities in, in here we are building a campus let's look at the tiles that we're working uh, they're okay they could be better um we do need housing in here soonish so i think after that library and after that winged hussar we get an aqueduct on this tile here yes Crossbowman, campus, monument, 
the swordsman's hanging out here. I'm keeping the swordsman down here on the off chance that uh, there's a barb camp that explores. And no niter? Are you kidding me? Oh, we have niter. I can't. Oh, are you one, two, three. Oh my god, that better not be the only niter around. If that's the only niter, the, oh, yep. All right. Well, Muscat's gonna, <laughs> Muscat's gonna be our, uh, our, our city soon. Sorry, Muscat. I think we just take Muscat. It's a waste, a lot of wasted envoys, but that is gonna be our city. <laughs> it's, it's, that's what happens when you do world domination, right? Will Scotland say? Will Scotland do peace? Make peace. Nope. No one wants to make peace. I mean, they're not taking the city, so. I think I just. I think I have to go to war with Muscat now. Let's upgrade him, I guess. We'll bring one of these guys back. He can fortify. We're going to go to war with, uh, with the city state. We're gonna war with the city state and then we're gonna take we're gonna take it because we have to have the niter. Like there's no way we can't take the niter. So let's go and send this to Armog. And then I think we just declare war. That really sucks that we spent a lot of envoys on the city state, but we have to have the niter. I mean, we can get it from being allied and helping him do that, but I think it just makes sense to kill it. Like I think it just makes sense for us to, to go to war with them. Which means we need to get our crossbowmen back. At least a couple of them. We can go in the city. Uh, I don't necessarily know. I know that there are some exploits. I know a lot of them have been patched, but there are a lot of exploits in Civ 6. Uh, but I'm not sure about that one. I would have to look it up. Oh, you're bringing a catapult, buddy? Without Is that what you're doing? Are you bringing a widow catapult? Are you bringing a widow catapult to take you to, to go to war? To go to war with us? Is that what's happening? All right, bye bye. Let's see what else. I know they have some units, but they're all pretty far away right now. Wait, he didn't die? All right, bye bye. Now he died. I was really confused. Can you stop bullying catapults, please? <laughs> no. He was bullying his widow catapults to help him in a war effort. Hong Kong is... Oh, we lost Hong Kong. Oh, okay. <laughs> we went to war and then immediately and the made future. peace. <laughs> okay. Um, I said I was going to be... Oh, you already built the builder, huh? Plus one reduction. Let's grab the builder. We're going to build a couple more builders. So let's do that. Let's send this guy here. Bye-bye. Um, we can grab an ar uh, Let's grab a lighthouse. We don't need the armory yet. Let's grab a few more fishery tiles. And then I think we just declare war on, on Muscat because it only has that one. Yeah, in the trash. <laughs> no, your place trash. <laughs> Let's just declare war right now. Uh, wait, are we the suzerain of them? We're not. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, we can do. We can send that to Armog though. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Bye bye. Declare war. I'm sorry, but. I have to. <laughs> I have to. The city-state is going to... Uh, bring its units, but... I mean... I have to have... I have to... No, your play is trash. <laughs> The catapult is the trash. I have to have the niter. Like, there's there's no ifs in there, but I need the niter to, in order to continue to go to war. So, what is this city? All right. Um, but I need a 
so we need to move that to Radom because I need to have a trade route going so I can let's get the aqueduct so I can actually uh, have a road in that area I thought I made peace with Hong Kong I guess that was a lie this uh, we, we're gonna we might lose a unit or two unfortunately but uh, oh yeah we have another galley here I forgot about that trader He's coming. He's coming. He's just hanging out. All right. Watch me lose the war versus Muscat. <laughs> they don't do a lot of damage, which is nice, but... Um, where is he going? Wabonza Congo. I guess we send it to Armog. Hopefully it doesn't get pillaged. And then this one here can go to Krakow. We need. We have to have a road between there because I, I mean I I just need a, I need a, I need a road I need the road so we can do a campus adjacency bonus here by putting a campus there we could also get a commercial hub but I think we need we had enter we'll do a campus right there all right keep going we'll move in with our our units like so This Quadrim. A galley can take that. This Quadrim can go here, attack the city. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. I guess I do need a catapult with these walls, huh? Or maybe a, um... A siege tower. <laughs> no one saw that. I mean, I'm 100% going to lose that swordsman, right? <laughs> like, there's no way I don't lose that swordsman. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, attack him. Just kill him. And start attacking with these catapults. We'll pillage that. Fortify. Bring him up Ugh. and keep going. Another fishery. This city is going to be so strong with all these fisheries. Oh, he's bringing more horses down. All right, well, we defended, so oh, I didn't see that. So we won that. It's going to be us, culture bombs, and we have a lot of incense, right? We have a lot of cotton. Next turn. We're actually we need to be careful. There is no e. There is no e. Okay, so we won we're gonna we won that, so on the next turn, right? Barbarian Caravel. Where'd he come from? He's gonna pillage my harbor. Guess we can put a I'm not really certain. I guess we build a builder in here. He almost died, so we'll, we'll do that. Should be okay. And we'll just move down like this. Siege the city. Keep attacking. And then attack this crossbowman. Bye-bye. And we'll grab that. And bring up another crossbowman. All right, next turn. Woof. Look at that. They tried. They tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, um, we can grab that and let's keep attacking the city. That's fine. Damage on the city. I, 
guess with this builder here, I mean, we can still get another fishery, but let's see, is there anything else that we need around here? I'm gonna keep him alive so we can get the niter immediately, actually. All right, next turn. Oh, Norway doesn't like me now. Oh, and Bart, where's that Bart? Oh, the Barb is over here. Pillaging all my stuff. Let's attack the city. And let's actually go down here and attack that scout so he doesn't pillage things. And this guy, this quadrim can just go and attack units that are making their way to us. All right, next turn. Uh, I'm going to keep him in there so we can get the niter once we take Muscat. Everyone's going to hate us this game. I don't think we're going to have any allies except for maybe Cleopatra. These caravels. Got to be careful. This quadrim needs to go heal. Let's attack the city again. Let's attack the city. We might be able to just take it now. Oh, so close. Okay. So, oh, that's actually... It actually got rid of the sugar. Okay. So we might be able to put a industrial zone here after all. So what I think I'll do is I'll harvest the sugar there. Since we put that there, I'll, har I'll harvest the sugar. Put the industrial zone here, right? Campus here. I always put the industrial zone there. I could always put the industrial zone right here since we're already building an aqueduct there. That's actually a good idea, is putting the industrial zone there. Let's do that. And then inside here, man, there are so many wonders that we could build that... I could always get Petra over here, but like pyramids, I can get pyramids over here. Um, let's grab Winged Hussars, though. All right. So he's still bringing units. Get rid of him. Fortify. These these caravels are actually kind of annoying. And next turn. Alright, that's more era score. How many more turns does it say? Five more turns? We could still get era score in that turn. Okay. Let's see if we can kill this caravel. No, it's gonna be close. That quadrium? It's really annoying. And then, okay, what's the clo let's go kill him. What's the closest unit to an upgrade? Him? Him? All right, take the city. Muscat is ours. Yep, we're going to keep the city. I need this niter. So we're going to purchase the, the, the niter tile. And then bring him down and get it. But just look at that. Another city is ours. Okay, so in Rollclaw... Let's get a library and then an industrial zone on probably, let's think about this. We have campus here, two mines there. I could get it right here and then put like another district here to give it a plus one. I could always get a district here and give it plus one as well. I don't want to get rid of that food. So maybe I put it here for now. Okay, because we do need to get some industrial zones going. Okay, let's go ahead and get these all repaired. Grab walls. And then I do need to worry about war weariness this game. That is a problem. Okay, I wouldn't have done that, friend. Uh, let's look at my cities. Plus one amenities. Housing. It's okay. <laughs> Fighting, it is where it's at, um, but also it can be... 
it out? Does, did I say I was going to? Oh, I was putting industrial zone up there. I'm not maximizing my industrial zone adjacency benefits, but it's okay. Look at that. Oh, man. Cleopatra's denouncing me, too. Why have a Cleopatra wife? Oh, there goes my quad. Oh, he has caravels now. Okay. Wait, who did? Okay, let's think about this. Stupid. Okay, this quadrim needs to heal. Attack him. Scotland's just gonna. If Scotland's just gonna throw all of his units at me, that's a pretty damn good thing. Oh, that expert marksman on him. Okay, so we need a harbor. I want to put the harbor either here or here. I'm not sure which one's going to give me more gold. Probably this, yeah. But we also need an industrial zone. And a campus. We don't need housing. Yep, industrial zone. Okay, we'll grab that. Let's grab the niter. And... I guess we attack the caravel. can come out of here. We'll put him in there. I think we're... Uh, the question is, do we go after Brazil or Scotland? I think we go after Scotland. Although Brazil would be nice because we could take this whole continent and go after Cleopatra. She's not really a threat this game, though. So, let's put him in there to heal. Another trade route. She wants demands. Nope. Sorry, friend. No, no, no. Okay, and we kill this barbarian camp. This, oh, means there's a camp nearby. That also means we have to repair our lighthouse after we get that builder. Okay, so what do we get with this guy? We need more farms. We need more lumber mills. I think we need to get some lumber mills around here to help with the production. Yeah, let's do that. Fortify. These guys can fortify here. Building this city was so nice. Like, being able to capture his settler and building that city, that was oh, so perfect. Yeah, let's start moving some guys up here. Say goodbye to your horsemen. We can promote him. And we'll bring some more units up this way. Get the niter. Nice! Uh, am I building an armory anymore? I am. So we can we can boost that gunpowder. Six turns. Do I want to wait ten turns for that? Do I hard build it? We can get military tactics and buttress, and then we can get cartography, and then we'll we'll go into metal casting. We'll just what we're gonna do is we're gonna boost. Um, we're gonna boost it. I think that's the the correct way to do that. Okay, we'll put him here. Can fortify for now. He's gonna go in there, and he'll sleep. Keep bring. Oh, okay. They're actually starting to bring more units over here. There are very honest people who do not think that they have had it. So, choose civic. I guess we go into exploration so we can get merchant republic, right? I think that's what we go. Into that, and then maybe into diplomatic service. Let's get another... I'm not really worried about Magnus, but I would like the extra um, strategic re or the strategic resources discount. Let me get Victor. Let just get Victor. Throw him in Radom. If we just do that. Okay. Attack him. Put him inside that. All right, so let's attack the city, sack him with that, and we can just attack this crossbowman. I guess I could have just killed that crossbowman if I used the... Oh yeah, I have plus two attack now, I forgot. Okay, I need error score. Two, I need error, what can I get to get error score right now? Right now? Is there anything that I can do to get error score? I don't think there's anything that I can think of. Hmm. In 
two turns. Let me try not being a little bitch. I have I haven't tried that, Vince, no. Oh, okay, so Limon's in this. I can trade okay, let's trade some kill him. What can we get in here? I mean, I guess we just build a crossbowman in here so we can defend versus this. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, let's grab that. Boosted mass production. So, how close are we? So we need to work eight more turns of that. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Let's put him inside the city. Fortify. Oh man, we're not gonna get a... We're gonna be in a dark age! <sighs> that sucks. That's actually really, that, that, that really sucks actually. Tactics mean doing what? Oof. I mean, I guess I don't want to be at war this entire era. So we'll get monumentality. Kill him. Okay, so inside here. I should probably grab a harbor, right? Yeah. Let's see. Can I talk to any of these guys and get peace? Yeah, perfect. Okay, peace with Brazil. Let's talk to Suleiman. Will you buy my gypsum? Good. Will you buy my... Look at that. What about my incense? Thank you. What about my cotton? Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, let's talk to Pedro. Does he want my gypsum? He does. And my incense? No. Okay. Well, that's a lot of gold per turn that we just got. Uh, it's really unfortunate that we're in a dark age, but what can you do? Right. Okay, let's go get the turtles. Heal here. Um, we can move out of the way. We can go... Nope. Actually, how close... Yep, attack him. Uh, expert marksmanship. Nice. Someone has called. Uh, oh, I bet you it's going to be against me. Again. Okay, that quadrium is fortified. Let's find out. I bet you it's versus me again, huh? Yep, being denounced by Suleiman. It's me again. I'm going to vote heavily no against that. I'm going to use all of I don't want to be at war right now again. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, I don't want to be at war while I'm... Like, I want to wait a little bit. I want to go after Scotland, actually. Let's take... Let's go after Scotland. We're going to put him in here. I think we can do that with... Um, musketmen. So once we get musketmen, I think we can do that. It's not, I, I'm not able to boost it yet, huh? So, wait, what was I building? Was I building buttress? Three turns? Six turns? Okay, that's perfect. So, let's go grab those. Let's not worry about that. Let's build that lighthouse, finally. <laughs> uh, and I think once we get musketmen, we go after Scotland. Just make peace for now. Let's take our quadrium and go explore. He wants my incense. Hey, more era score. So we got, oh, cause we got the industrial zone. 
That's a lot of things we need inside the city. Um, let's grab a workshop. We do need to start getting some workshops going. So we can delete that now. Then we'll grab a campus here and eventually a harbor here. So he's going to fortify in there. All these guys are just going to fortify for now. We so can't really do anything. So, we were at war a lot. <laughs> do we have any units that we don't need to upgrade yet? No. We're going to get our winged hussars in a few turns. I would like to get a bunch of those. That way I can get the uh, pushback promotion. An architect should live as little in city. And then we'll work on gunpowder. Once that armory finishes, we should be able to boost it all the way. And then... I think... We'll get metal casting and then into frigates. It just depends on what his uh, cities look like. If they're all... Let's actually go up here. Let's find out. Uh, he can sleep. Fortify. We'll grab that one down there. We'll go up this way. And I do need to... I guess I need to build some more... Get some more trade routes going, huh? Hey, plus four error score for the winged hussars. And show routes. Okay, so what is the best possible route that we can get right now? Let's see. So, um, Poznan to Armog. Roklaw to Armog. Okay. Yep, I guess we'll go to Armog, right? It's a good city. That's a good trade route. He's just going to sleep. This winged Hussar is going to go up this way. And he's going to fortify. We're going to take him down. After After we get um, musketmen and cannons, we're going to go after, um, we're going to go after Scotland. That is the plan. Uh, nope, not selling you my niter. Big sorry. Sorry, I am. Computer's being dumb. Okay. Let's go look at his cities. How's it going? I've checked out your channel. Hello, how are you? I wonder if that's a bot. I, um, I can't tell. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Bye bye. That was like 100% a bot. That's pretty funny. Hey, more era score. And we have Merchant Republic, which is fantastic for us. Okay, so let's grab. Intelligence? Grandmaster's Chapel's nice, but I think we do intelligence agency. And then, okay, let's look at our government. So let's go ahead and get a, I would like some great scientist points, but I think we're gonna go oligarchic legacy. No, not yet, not yet. We're not gonna go oligarchic legacy yet. Colonial offices is nice. Do I have any, let's look at continent view. Uh, no, continent view. These are all on my continent, so the plus 15% doesn't make matter at all, huh? It 
does not. Okay. So, let's think about this change policies. Let's go. Um, I guess naval infrastructure. Do we have the industrial adjacency yet? No, we don't. Not yet. Okay, I guess caravanseries for now. Plus one gold for my city states. Um, that's fine. We'll keep that going here. And then military. I guess we can get veterancy for the harbor districts for now. And then once the time comes, we'll grab uh, grab a. Okay, so now we have a Sukinis in here. I forgot that we didn't get a commercial hub. And then we'll grab an industrial zone on here, I think. And then a dam right here. Wait, 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 do we have... So we can go industrial... So we'll go aqueduct, dam, and then industrial zone... Industrial zone on top of the... No, not on top of the nighter. I think we go aqueduct, dam, and then industrial zone there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So let's, let's do that. Let's do... Aqueduct. Dam. And then, wait, sorry, that's going to be the dam, right? Yeah, dam, aqueduct, industrial zone. Perfect. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, but I think now we're actually going to go ahead and end the stream right now. I've been streaming for four hours, so... Um, Thanks for everybody for stopping by for all the follows. We're slowly but surely getting to a thousand followers. So thank you everybody. That means a lot. Um, I am uploading all of these Let's Plays onto my YouTube channel, as well as a couple other ones that are off stream. I have one going right now with Alexander. And I am also, I also have a uh, Let's Play on Park Dict going. So uh, once again, thanks so much everybody for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will be streaming again tomorrow as well. So see you guys. Bye.